what do you do? You sell out, you get your tens of millions of dollars and you go and buy some commercial property and you sit on the beach drinking pina coladas. How, um, where, where's the thrill out of life? I don't feel any particular urge to spend a long time holidaying overseas. Um, fishing is great, but I don't want to fish every day. Living in New Zealand is one of the best places in the, in the world, I believe, and um, I'm still having a good time. You know, I play a lot of golf and I love to go fishing and I love to do all those things, but I always think, what do I do after that? Because I don't think you can do that forever. I don't see there's any thrill in counting money. What I do see is counting how many boxes go in those containers. I can't help walking through a supermarket or, or a campus and picking up products and looking where they're made and, and looking for sales opportunities. So you, you do actually think about it you know, quite a lot of the time outside work hours. Other than my family, it is my life. And, and that sounds pretty sad really when you think about it because, because when I look at it sometimes it feels a little sad but, but, but actually I'd, I'd be lost without it. I'd lose it. I, I, need, I need something to stimulate me and keep me going and, and this, this is what it does. I still enjoy the challenges, there's, there's challenges on a daily basis. Uh, I enjoy the customer contact uh, and I guess in particular I, I still like the technical issues that uh, come up of new developments. I do work long hours, but I just like the fact that I can actually still do it. You know, do I think about retiring someday? someday? I mean, because obviously when you get to in your 70s maybe, another 10 or 15 years time for me, maybe, maybe um, it's time to do that. And I can't imagine, I can't even imagine that time. Still enjoy going into work every day. Um, that's, you know, if I enjoy that, I think the passion is still there. You, you have to have the... Uh desire to do it and to keep doing it and persist at it. And I saw the 78 year old man that had the energy of a 50 year old. And I looked at him and I thought, I don't want to be 78 and still in the business, but I, I just, I want to have his energy. It's infectious. I mean, I still have to wake up in the morning having a vision to do something that's, that's excep exceptional and, and, and why not? I think you've got to be passionate in starting off a company. It's hard work and it's, it doesn't pay off overnight. And if you are one of those people who, who really think you can do more, then you just got to get out and do it. And there's no, there's no other way. We've not finished yet, and we've got a long way to go. And that's the motivation for me because every time I see my one of my plastic containers in the park or on television, or walk into Macy's department store in America, it's like a drug, and that's the drug that keeps you going.